excuse me. God bless y'all and welcome to Sunshine Ministries. I'm Gary. Um, a big God bless to all of you. Just happened to stumble across this site. Um, um, it's kind of a restart, actually. Had it going for a while, and some of the contents I didn't like, so I decided to get a fresh start. And that's the key word in this message that I have for you: a fresh start. Um, for right now, I'm not going to be Reverend Gary. I'm just going to be the old Gary. He used to be Gary. And I'm going to start right here. I want to give it all away. You know, I, I, I'm tired. I'm just tired of dealing with it. Um, where should I start? Here we go. How about anxiety? Anybody like anxiety? That's a horrible feeling. That's a horrible feeling. I don't want to deal with anxiety the rest of my life. I'm giving that to Jesus. Ooh. Depression. That's another lousy feeling. Being depressed. Just feeling like, what's the use? Why bother? Why, why do anything? Why not just stay in bed? I want to get out of there. I don't need that. Giving that to Jesus. Anger. Good color for it too, huh? Um, anger. Well, you know what? I am a little bit ticked at a. Uh, no, 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 no. I gotta quit being ticked at him. You know, he didn't really mean anything by it. I forgive him. So, I'm giving that one to Jesus. Fear. Ooh. What's gonna happen to me tomorrow? What's gonna happen if this happens? What's going to happen if this happens, if that doesn't happen? And on and on and on and on. I don't want to live like that. That gives me fear. That one's out of here. Into the Jesus basket it goes. Let me see. 10% of my income. Oh, wait a minute. I got the electric bill coming up. Water bill. Better hang on to that one. Oh. My little black book. Well, you know, the wife doesn't know. Nobody else is going to know, so. I'll just kind of hang on to that one. <laughs> uh, let me see what else we got here. My job. I get so aggravated on that job. You know? People are just at each other's throats all the time. And, uh, I'm a part of that. Giving it to Jesus too. That's the one. My bills. I owe everybody under the sun. I can't pay all this money, so I'm giving it to Jesus. Can't do it. Oh, my vacation. Hey, this is my fun time. You know, time to lay out on the beach and take life easy and, you know, hang on with that, you know? You can need me help with that one. But you know what? What if Jesus. What would have happened if he gave into Satan's temptations? What would have happened if he said, okay, well, I'll just stop all that preaching. If y'all would just spare my life. You know where we'd be? Every single one of us, including myself and you and everybody you know. 
Every one of us would be doomed for hell today because he gave it all. And you remember that, gave it all. So, what would happen? Now let me tell you, this, I'm going to base this on like what an alcoholic would think. I was delivered from alcohol, praise God. Went through many years of alcoholism. And before I was delivered from it, I always had this thought in my head. I said, well, you know, what else am I going to do? This is what I do. I drink, you know. Um, so, gee whiz, what am I going to do if I quit drinking? But you know what? When I was delivered, there's not enough time in the day now that I'm not drinking. You know, I've got things, i got 20 zillion things that I wasn't even thinking about before um, that, I, that I do, that I look forward to doing, that, you know, things that I never dreamed of when I drank alcohol. And this is the same thing as turning your life over to Christ. You think, well, gee, I don't know, that's... Uh, pretty tough, you know, narrow path, and I'll have to follow that path. I don't know if I can do all of that. Well, let me tell you what, my friends. No, you can't. Not all of it. Because we're all sinners, and we all fall short of the glory of God. But the thing about it is, is that you accept Lord Jesus as Lord and Savior. And that road is a whole lot easier than you think. We're not promised a rose garden by any stretch of the imagination. But at least now, you're blessed. And he'll get you through it, no matter what the storm. He'll get you through it. Now, are you sick? I want you to answer me truthfully. Are you sick of dealing with all of life's issues, all of life's problems, and you get nowhere but madder, more frustrated, more aggravated, more depressed, are you? I'm going to say 90% that you yes. um, Those of you who are already there, God bless you because I'm preaching to the choir, but those who aren't, listen to me carefully because this is the smartest decision you will ever make. I promise you. I promise you. I'm a witness. Can you be saved right now? Yes. You can. I don't save you, but I can lead you who does. You must confess by mouth. You must confess by mouth before men. That's the luxury of this internet thing, huh? This video. If you don't have anybody with you right now, save this video. Save this video. And confess before them. Now, if you have somebody over with you right now, don't be afraid. Do it right now. Because if you don't, then exactly like my shirt says here, if you're ashamed of him, so shall he be ashamed of you before the Father. You do not even want that to happen. Again, I say, um, save this video if nobody's around. But here's what I want you to do when you play it back. Or if you're doing it right now. I want you to bow your head. You pick to start a brand new life, my friend. I want you to bow your head and say this with me. And mean it from your heart. Because he's waiting. He's waiting for you right now. Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I fall short of your glory. I believe that you gave your life for my sins. I believe that you arose from the grave and defeated the enemy and washed me clean as snow. I accept you right now, Jesus, as my Lord of my life and my Savior. From this day forward, I will trust in you and not myself. I pray that you forgive me of my sin. Let me serve you the rest of my days. I reach out to you, and even now, Lord, as I want, need, and accept you as my Lord and Savior. From this very moment on, amen and amen. And brother or sister, you just made the smartest decision you'll ever make.
with your head bowed. You walk with Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. I want you to go to Sunshine. It's spelled with an O, not a U. Sunshine dot ministries at comcast.net I want to hear some praise reports I want to hear about some people getting saved tonight today whatever whoever whenever you just made the most intelligent decision you'll ever make in your life now I want you to get out there with a fresh start with Christ in control of your life Enjoy life and not only be just one of the redeemed, but a conqueror through his blood. And in the meantime, do what he did. Give it all. God bless you today. I love you. And he loves you.